Okay, so right now we're going to learn about what I like to refer to as stacking. And the reason I call it stacking is because with every time that we define more and more of the detailed targeting, it helps us to get to the people that we really want. So let's dig in and let me show you exactly what I mean. Now, in the last video, I had mentioned I wanted to find a portion that shows us how long people have lived there. And it's length of residence. So the portion is under behaviors. We can go normally it allows us to go and choose shorter timelines but so now that i know it's under behaviors let's go here residential profiles there it is length of residence interesting so they literally just went and changed this within the past week because you were able to go and define i believe it was under one year uh, two to five and six years plus so they've added a couple new ones here where obviously as we can see this is very helpful for us so the likely to move has been here i was going to show you this when i was going through the stacking and the new mover was recently added if i'm not mistaken i don't recall seeing that one but you have a recent home buyer and then obviously a recent mortgage borrower. So, you know, if there's something that we feel that we can help them with in any of these categories, then obviously let's do it, right? Somebody's been there for a while, maybe it's time for them to refine. Maybe they want to move. I'm not quite sure whatever approach you want to go with, but we can go with that. Same thing here, obviously, right? Likely to move, same type of scenario. Let's talk to them in an appropriate fashion, get their attention get them interested and have them come with us because of the way we're able to approach them and the way, excuse me, the services that you're able to offer them and differentiate yourself from everybody else. So some of the stacking things that I like to initially do are a couple basic ones. And the thing is, it really just depends on what you're going for, right? So for example, right now, if I wanted to go for somebody that, let's go real quick as a stack, that's gonna be a good one. Hypothetically, let's say we wanted to tire, excuse me, target higher income folks, right? So obviously based on income and net worth, we can do different things. So what I wanna do is for the sake of this, I want to include all these hypotheticals, right? People that make this much, $100,000 or more, right? Then here's where the stacking comes in. These next portions right here, right? So now what we've done is we're saying, hey, um, Facebook, give me the people in Reno, Nevada, 50 plus mile radius, between the ages of 35 and 45, men and women, that make $100,000 or more. And they're saying, all right, well, that's an audience of 21,000 people. Perfect. Now, let's say, Facebook, do me a favor. Let's go ahead and, there it just was, it slipped past me. Give me those people in their renters. Facebook says, all right. Well, there's about 3,600 people. So, okay, perfect. Now let's go and say Facebook. Give me those that are just like that. They make $100,000. They're renters. And they are single. Now we obviously to find fewer than a thousand people. But let's just say we wanted to lift something off. We wanted to remove the renters one. 
Now, the thing is this, you, you got to look at this, right? Include these people. They must match at least one of the following, right? So at least somebody that fits into the income level of one of these six options that are here. In addition to, we're saying, and see how they bold it, must also match at least one of the following. So since we're putting single here, I mean, I guess you could put in uh, whatever. I mean, it really doesn't matter, right? I mean, let's just hypothetically remove single and narrow it down again and say married. Or engage. Right? So now what it is, it's going to choose at least one of these two right here. They're going to fit into this kind of category here with their income level and one or two, uh, excuse me, one of the two options here. Because normally what happens is, say we remove that box. Now we have these options here, right? We have these six income-based options. Now, if we went in here and chose Mary, now what happens is it's saying, hey, detailed targeting, include people who match at least one of the following. So it can be any of these, right? Now what happens is it could just be somebody that's married, but that doesn't necessarily mean they're going to meet this category as far as the income level goes. So it's open to everything. It's not very specific, right? So right here it shows 39,000 people. Right, because it's choosing any one of these seven options right in here. So we're like, okay, let's do this then. We're gonna remove married there, and I'm gonna include it here. Let's see how many it comes with that. 12,000 people. So they are one of these hypothetical <laughs> income levels, right? Once again, these are the analytical things, not factual, but based on activity where you're at, who you're hanging with, comments you're doing things you're liking food you're buying all the stuff that people go in and tell facebook and once again one of these things this i would say would be a factual portion right most of the people that are on facebook they update their status as far as relationship goes whether it is single engaged whatever it might be so we can utilize these things to our advantage so let's just say one more time. What I like to do is another portion here is exclusion, right? Exclude the people that we don't want. And if I wanted to include these people, but hypothetically, I did not want to include the people that have, you know, these type of levels, it would automatically place uh, it would automatically do the segmentation for me. But at the same time, what I'm going to do is, I know it showed it here as, as the audience stayed the same. I'm just for an extra safety net of exclusion. I'm going to make sure it manually removes these people. Right? I just don't, they don't fit the target audience that I'm getting my message to. You don't have to do this as far as the income level goes. Right? But maybe you want to, exclude people that are parents or maybe you want to include them right but just for this we're just going to do that hypothetically go here so now it just took it down to six thousand right so we're saying hey facebook we want people that make this type of money that are married and are not parents so you can see where you can really, really get uh, very finite and defined on who you want to go and target to. I mean, this, this opens a whole new world for you. And so if you can't just type anything in, right? Let's go remove these and I mean, it doesn't really matter. One of the things I like to do with some of my clients is target specific types of job titles, right? Teachers. Right, so then obviously what I'd wanna do is open this up to certain ages, 25 or more, 
But if we're going for a mortgage, I'd probably say at least 30. To, uh, let's say 55. Interesting. It's only showing a thousand people. It's quite interesting that there's only a thousand teachers in the 50 mile radius of Reno, but essentially, I mean, you can do whatever you want, folks. I mean, let your brain go wild. If somebody likes golf, you know, their interests are golf. Obviously, golf is not the cheapest forms of entertainment. So we know that we're talking to certain people that, you know, have an interest in golf. Now, that doesn't mean that they are out golfing every day because they have an interest in golf. It's just saying at some point, based on activities or ads they've seen or pictures that have been shared with them, they've liked golf. So keep these things in mind. Let your brain run free. And like I said, I will include the cheat sheet that helps expand this, uh, opens up our options and allows us to physically uh, see what we have. Right now, keep in mind, obviously, when I just first went in here for the example, Facebook's always changing things. So I'll give you the sheet that I have and that we've put out to where you can open up instead of having to try to view everything in this, you know, four inch box. So on to the next video. See you there.